Hi guys, welcome back to Rev Solution. This video, I'm just going to talk to you about the Android Auto system on the Africa Twin. This is a 2021 model. So since I bought this bike, I personally, with a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, have never been able to get Android Auto working for longer than probably five minutes and it keeps coming up with errors. However, for some reason, I've managed to get it working. So down in the description below, I will stick the link to the USB cable that I'm using. Uh, I got it from Amazon. It wasn't that expensive. Uh, no more than £15, but it might have been a lot cheaper. Uh, so that cable is running on the bike. Uh, the Africa Twin system is all up to speed. It's, it's got the latest firmware. My Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is also running the latest firmware. It's also got Android version 12, which is the most up-to-date version at this moment in time. But still, it was not working initially. It would last for a few minutes and then start coming up with the... It would flick on and off the phone. It would flick on and off the Android Auto display. And it was doing my head in. This is an expensive bike and you want it working. So, the other day, I plugged my phone in just purely to charge it didn't have my helmet connected at all the bike was um, it was off it was just the ignition was on and Android also decided to work I was absolutely gobsmacked so I then connected uh, well I turned the bike on to start with I connected my so I connected my phone up to my bike via the USB C cable left my helmet off initially and it worked it just it just came into life I, I didn't do anything it just started working so i then put my helmet intercom on but i didn't link it to the bike it connected to my phone which in the manual says do not do because it won't work uh, so that was a bit strange and it carried on working and then today and oh, that was uh, a couple of days ago and I was running it for about four hours and there wasn't a single glitch on the Android Auto. So obviously I'm using Google Earth at the moment and yeah it, it was brilliant. So uh, today I put my intercom on, that connected initially straight to the bike so I thought oh here we go it's not going to work because it's going to start throwing it out of sync and uh, it worked no problem at all. So, in essence, I haven't got a clue what took place with this whole system for it to work. But, I'm going to run you through, quickly, the step-by-step -step that I've done, which is now working. So, the bike is connected to the phone via the USB. Bluetooth, for some reason, continuously turns on, even when it's turned off on the phone. As soon as you connect that cable to the bike and the phone, it automatically turns Bluetooth back on. So, Bluetooth is on, the cable's plugged in, all the updates are up to date, they're all current, and that's it, it works. I, honestly guys, I'm sorry I can't give you the exact reason as to why it is working. Like there's a, a button I needed to press and it would all magically start working. But it works. The one thing I will say about the Android Auto is that I've tried this bike with a Huawei and also a another Sam's sorry, another Android phone. I can't remember what the other Android phone was. It was one of the chaps at the Honda dealership at Crescent Honda that I deal with. Um, and yeah, that phone worked fine. So it narrowed down to the Samsung S21 Ultra was the issue but now as you can see this video is a couple of minutes long and it's working so uh, get the cable that I've purchased because at the moment I'm swearing by that cable it works I can't fault that cable because it's the only cable that has done the job I have tried other cables since it's worked um, and they haven't worked so I cannot sing this cable's praise enough. I've even tried genuine Samsung cables and it is still a no-go. Um, so yeah, Android Auto on the Africa Twin, absolutely fantastic. And you can, in all fairness, 
select a few other options there you go so when you're when you're riding there are a couple of other options you've got your google maps you've got amazon music you've got your telegram which is another messaging service phone calls the honda one takes you straight back into the honda main display you've also got your calendar your text messages yeah facebook messages you can also put a lot of other things on here you can put ways for instance if you don't want to do android uh, sorry google earth so the options are pretty damn good uh, i am very very happy that seven eight months after i purchased this bike i can actually use android auto it's been a long time coming but this bike has now just become even more better for me so nice quick video android auto on the honda africa twin working perfect thank you for watching resolutions until next time ride safe take care and i'll see you soon stop center bloody thing is so annoying on the voice command see you guys later